Hello guys. After yesterday with the stolen and the beautiful uh, cappuccino coretto ice cream, today I will show you how to make grandmother style German cinnamon stars. That's a very famous cookie in Germany and you don't need so much stuff at all. First what you need is almond ground here like powder really fine powder 200 gram of this is enough then you need the white from an egg another white from an egg you must separate them not like that i mean in the bowl and for the cover for the coating later with the icing sugar of course you need cinnamon a little bit vanilla then you need uh, a little bit amaretto, of course, icing sugar, and very little for rolling out the dough flour. That's almost everything you need. You see, only 10, less than 10 ingredients. So let's begin. The first what you do is you put the 200, gram of this really fine almond inside here Oops. the dry pack don't forget don't put it in take it out can be used to keep your uh, seasoning like cinnamon or vanilla or anything else in good condition so it doesn't get wet so first here 200 gram of vanilla icing sugar you need a scale you need 125 gram of icing sugar so we finish first this one the old one no. looks like i was in colombia you know they use the scale <laughs> 40 gram is here and so we add from the new pack another 80 gram mix it it's very simple it's gone wow strange cooking today that's the second kind of white powder <laughs> eh. no it is vanilla okay <laughs> even looks different okay so all this one will be done so we not get annoyed to put again and again something we need wow a tablespoon of cinnamon but since we don't make the big uh, set of dough we use here the small spoon like that ne a big teaspoon see ingredients reduce already now we have to separate one egg In the bowl We need only the white of the egg. So we put the yellow here. The yellow I will keep because sometime I need to when I bake. So it's, you can keep it, when you cover it, you can keep it for at least two days in the fridge. So. Last but not least, we need a tablespoon of amaretto, maybe one and a half. Okay, one and a half. Almost done. 
a special feature I will use. Uh, this is called gingerbread seasoning. Very, it smells so intense. You just need a tip, knife tip like this. The uh, gingerbread seasoning, it's a mix of eight different seasoning. Anise, cinnamon, cloves, and all this stuff, cardamom, and so on. And will be very fine grinded and then keep and stored for a while so it makes the whole intense flavor. So, next one is start on. You let it run to make a proper dough. After you make the proper dough, we keep it in the fridge for half an hour. Now, after a couple of minutes, you see how it will stick more and more together. So now we add the rest of the 8 gram additional because we use the first one only 40 gram you need 80 gram more icing sugar As you can see, it's 812 gram, including the packing. There's a pack of 800 gram. We need 80 grams, so we must put down to, uh, let's say, uh, 730. Uh, it's a little bit more, okay? Don't worry if you don't make 100% proper measurement. So we stop the machine, take this one off, and the rest is hand work. The dough will be good when it doesn't have white spots anymore and is everywhere equally brown.
the moist of the egg and the moist of the amaretto will absorb and bind all the rest of icing sugar, you see? Yeah, the texture is now very good already, but it's not finished, you see? There's still white spots but almost gone. Ah, you see? Done. Wow, looks good. The texture should be like the uh, dough, play-doh or whatever, or clay, what you use as kit when it's hand, hand warm. Look at this. Wow. Ah, it smells so good. It smells already cinnamon star. Wow. So, this one we need now a foil so it doesn't dry. We just put it so gentle here in the foil and store it in the fridge and after I see you again. So next step we must prepare the coating for the cinnamon stars. Therefore we need a white egg. And if you have a little bit of yellow in the egg, it's bad, okay? So be careful that nothing, because you can beat it with the mixer for one hour, it doesn't get, it doesn't stuck. The, this one, the yellow one, will, the yolk will prevent that it stick and become harder. So be careful. That's okay. So, what we do next, we need some icing sugar for the coating. Turn on the scale again. You need 100 gram icing sugar. Wow. But actually, since we have only one egg, we do a little bit less. This one can be adjusted to make it like creamy later. So we don't use so much right now, okay? 720. You have 80 gram. That sounds good. Reasonable, good. What we need again is a very little so just some sprinkle of cinnamon. Go in, let you turn around, and then we get to the full speed, full throttle here. By the way, throttle in German is a very bad word. And this one we let run for one and a half minutes.
We clean this one and use this to Well, well, we need some more sugar to make it more sticky. That should be due. Just let you know, when you have the icing sugar or any other pack of sugar, you close it with a rubber band and you store it in the fridge. No ants will enter your home. That's good enough. The consistency now the, the, is like a glue. The one you use for the wood, you see. Well, well, we keep that. We get some space. This one we cover later. Look like the glue from the wood. Slow floating. Very good. Excellent. A little bit slightly from the aroma. Good. We put that away. The next step is we wait a moment for the dough. See you then. So I have cleared the table. Put here some baking paper. Okay. And then we have this one. This is one what the woman ran behind the man and want to hit him on the head. I have one. <laughs> now we have the well shield dough here. And we will make now the half of it to see how good it is. Wow, the texture is good. Look at this. The other half I will store in the fridge and use later. So, I make it very gentle, so I, I skip this uh, with, the, with the flour. After you uh, have done your stars the leftover you mix with the remaining one and you repeat that until the whole dough is gone here we go yeah that's why we call them cinnamon star You see, that's when you have the baking paper. They don't stick here. Wonderful. Really easy to 
put them here on the baking tray and keep the shape as well. The old version from before was you put the flower here on the working space and so on and it still sticks sometime but by today they have this high tech it's really high tech materials non-stick uh, properties and the baking paper as well i use it for many different things even uh, when you make your own you cure your own salami or ham or whatever you can put it in and it keeps a very nice moist Look at this, amazing. So you see, now you take the rest here together and roll it again. Maybe you want to change, yeah, small one, bigger one. Let's make the bigger one. Or get the rest though anyway. And after that, you must now start to preheat pre your oven to 120 Celsius. Okay, because they are not really hard baked, they are more dried, okay, for about half an hour, 40 minutes. Again, roll it gentle that it doesn't crack. Equal thick like, let's say three millimeter. Oops. Oh, the final Sterne. Fallen stars. Nothing happened. Just look that they have a little bit of space. Ah, so. All right, here we go. Mmm.
Wow. Amazing, huh? Hmm. This one is too. Take a smaller one more. That's the third time you see how much is it. Almost ready. One more here. And then we, I turn on, on the oven. That's the first round, we make a second one. So here we go, the baking tray is full. This one stays so. Now we make the coating. As you can see, it's uh, Oops. You can buy them and they look so perfect, but this one is a sign that's handmade. Hmm. Yo. Oops.
preheat the oven now. better you get you see the last one Almost done for the oven. Two more. Here we go. First set is ready for the oven. Up in the oven. Mm -hmm. I prepare now the rest here from this and put this already on baking. So I can make a flying change from the baking tray. I take out only the baking paper with the ready one, put on top of an oven, and I put in the other one, baking paper like this, with the leftover. The today baking paper is really cool. You have so many properties, interesting properties.
Looks like we get a second tray full. Yes. Bring it to one sticky dough again. Don't forget later you must wash your fingers because it's so sugary. <laughs> Smells good. Here we go. Wow, two more and then we have the second one. And nothing left over. Cool. Mm. See, it get less and less every time. Now we get one more, properly one. One more. Hmm. And one more from the last. I like this when nothing gets thrown in the garbage. I don't like to throw food into the garbage. Here we go. Oh, 
on this one we just make around like a coin and put it here as well nothing in the garbage you see then we move it here and start the coating so now we do the coating Boar must wait till you can eat, but looks good. Almost done. I have some special feature with the almonds. I caramelize some almond and it's in the box. You will put as topic. Topping, topping, topping. Here we go. It's actually the same stuff what they make when they use a gingerbread house for Christmas in Germany or the Oktoberfest gingerbread story. They make this a little bit thicker, but actually sugar. Sugar and beaten the white. White from the egg.
Hmm. Nice. Done. Two more. Wow. You see, this is almost empty as well. So you see the measurement from the sugar and the egg matching the cookies. The amount of cookie dough. Yeah, that's it. This is for wash, this is for wash. Let's see what we have here. Here, yeah, this is uh, almond. Wow. Wow. These are the almonds I made for some ice cream. This is for the Christmas ice cream, the leftover almond. And as I told you, I don't throw food. I keep this one. And now I put it here. Amazing good. Look at this. Well done. And during the waiting time, we can now, when before we bake this one, we can use the time to wash uh, our roll here. So rolling pin, because it's totally sticky from the sugar. They are now in the oven. That is already the second one with the nuts. And here we go. They are finished. Before you keep them and store them, you must cool them completely down. So about 10, 15 minutes. I let them stay here on, on the top of the oven for another 10 minutes. Then I move them to the table and I will uh, put them in a food bag to store or in a better, the best would be in a metal box. You can keep them actually for two, three weeks. No big deal. Okay. I hope you like this video. Then please down click the like button. To the next time, bye bye.